Hey, Turtle Club, how is it going? It is I, once again, shrunk down in a mini mag versus mini wild adventure here in Miniland Adventures. This is so amazing still. Uh, just really fortunate to be given this preview copy for this game that's releasing in, um, well, tomorrow's Easter, so uh, two days from now. Wow. Oh, man. I, I do have family coming in on Monday, so that's going to be one of those things that the day that this releases, we um, will really be kind of you know working on getting things ready for them, but the episodes will start coming out then. Um, so, yeah, a little bit about the game. It is a survival crafting game. Uh, there is a free preview right now available. So when this game comes out, it's expected to release for $10 on Steam, and... $10 in our book gives us 10 hours of playthrough, so you can tell for this series so far we're about to approach day 10, and each day is about 15 minutes, and we are still just really going strong in my opinion. I, I think I think really for each playthrough, I, I was doing a couple for about day 5, day 6, just to kind of get the hang of the way the mechanics and the environments and everything worked and some of the interesting surprises, and still discovering things right now that we hadn't discovered before. Uh, but seven days, I think, is pretty good for uh, just to kind of get your feet wet. And the demo for free, uh, Miniland Adventure Prologue, you can grab that and play on Normal, on Survival, so that's the uh, locked-in game mode. And you can have one save file, so you'd have to delete the save file once you get to day seven to play again. But Clearly, um, there's so much to do in there. So if you decide that's something that you really like, then you're more than happy at that point to play um, the full game for free. Now, I do not know if the uh, game will import those save files. So, um, but seven days, I mean, that's you know 15 minutes for game day. That's easily done in less than two hours to get right back. And again, the way that the game plays, it's so different each time. So different each time. Speaking of different, let's go upstairs and, oh, oh, we need to run away. Hey, different this time. There's no zombie in our house. Awesome. We will absolutely be fine with that. All right. Uh, that's right. We have a full inventory, so let's just sort this, grab that, sort that. Um, stone, swords, things that we don't need. Bone mill. That's a thing that we don't need right now. We still don't know what that's going to be good for. Grab that. Um, come on. Grab the bones. Drop the bones there. So when daylight comes with these, this game, everything just kind of resets itself. We just found out that we did have a way to completely get wood, uh, not wood, but water underground because there is some of the unexpected uh, snow down there. Wasn't really expecting that. Oh. So now we have new biomes, the day has came, the dawn has broken. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come explore. We have we are cactuses that we put down. Alright, so boom. So we have these snow trees. Which is perfectly fine in my opinion, because we need wood. So grab our axe. And start chopping down some snow trees. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We get dark logs and snow, so that's good. Alright. We are going to have to eat some more food. Oh, the game saved again. Anytime that something kind of important happens, the game does save. Now, one thing also is we have. Look at this. Alpaca Rider detonate a bomb, visit an enchanted dimension, make an obsidian. All these, in, all these achievements. Boil a bucket of salt water. Craft an obsidian sword, building, placing a statue, paintbrushes, all these things here. So even if you're intimidated from a survival crafting perspective, I know some of our viewers are absolutely achievement hunters. And these are Steam viable achievements. And more importantly, from an achievement perspective, if you have those achievements to go through, you kind of have a, a uh, whoops, well, we won't be doing anything with that axe because it's busted. But so if you have those achievements as kind of a guideline, you have a, a goal, you have a focus, you have a place that you can start kind of heading out to. So we got all the things we need for a axe, I think. Yep, we sure do. All 
our cacti is down. And one thing I want to show, because we hadn't showed it yet, I don't think. Um, why is this coal? Dark logs. Snow. So it looks like there's can melt some more. So it doesn't look like there's any seeds for these trees. Which is kind of odd. Dark logs and snow. So all these biomes have a type of wood usually. And oh we didn't we didn't get our Alright, so we're gonna get this. We're gonna do more of these trees. And that's because we really hope that underneath this all will be some snow to be able to get underground. So we'll be able to get some more, you know, water and whatnot. Dude. Oh, speaking of water, we need to go water these radishes down here. If we had it already. Yep. Radish, radish. And button uh, wool ball there we go and we have so many sheep right now that we can absolutely do that um, uh, cups how did we get so many cups did I actually click on the wrong thing did I find cups or something? I don't know. We're gonna lose some wool though. If it despawns, it'll despawn, unfortunately. Um, uncooked mushroom stew. We we want uncooked mushroom stew, but we need space for it. Mushroom stew. Mushroom stew. All right. What about mushrooms? Are there any mushrooms that we can grab? Nope. That's fine. All right. We're going to make cooked mushroom soup. It takes six per. We're gonna throw another one of those in there, and that way we'll get some amazing food because the mushroom soup is the best food ever. All right, and let's go over here. We're going to juggle some stuff, put some ice cubes there, put some sandstone there feed our tummy and then our poor dude he needs one two three four five six probably six walls I, I I'm I am not mathing well today so let's put wall put wall put wall put wall grab X chop down Bamboo. All right, you sir, what do you like? You like a carpenter table. You like standard wooden floor. You like standard wooden walls. So he wants wood walls of the standard variety. Uh, or he likes the light wooden walls. That's why I had all this light wood. Here we go, um, after we get some smelting going on. So let's put the stone, no, we need to get this tin, right? Boom, 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 boom. Fire. And I guess we put some bamboo in there too perfectly fine so now we're gonna go and get us some white wood we got plenty of room for it so might as well actually speaking of which let's go to our table here um, so ruby axe takes lots of rubies we might actually have the rubies we don't have enough rubies for ruby axe yet okay that's fine. Um, what about the bronze axe? We need three pieces of bronze, so let's go over here. We are so shiny squirrel syndrome at times in this game, guys. It is not even real. Alright, um, 
tin copper mix. We need coppers, which we don't have any ore. Probably down in the underground. If I had to guess. Yep, seems that way. Alright, so. Sad. Alright, that's fine. Mostly. Mostly not, but mostly. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this axe. And we know that we're about to break an axe, so let's make a stick. Alright. And make some more sticks because they take less space that way. Alright, and grab, grab, grab. Don't double click mag, don't double click mag. Alright. And time to get some light wood. Do, 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 do. And one of the good things, again, that we've mentioned a couple times in this game is unlike other survival crafting games, that you are totally at the mercy of the RNG and once you have things, you're done with things, right? This game does two things to kind of help alleviate that. Um, the first thing, which I find to be pretty cool, is just the random card set that we get every dawn. And that, that really does go a long way, in my opinion, to making the game just kind of play longer. And the other thing of Super Note is this whole entire replanting system. I, I have yet to have a situation where I thought to myself, oh my gosh, we're not going to have enough light wood. We're not going to have enough plain wood. We're not going to have enough dark wood. Now, we've absolutely, in a couple of episodes, had situations where we're like, we don't have enough of this now. And, and that that's a horrible feeling. That is a terrifying feeling. There's light logs there. Where we got? Where's our, where's our birch cones? All right. Uh, birch cones. Tree will grow. That's fine. And eat some soup. Alright, so now we are in a situation where we're ready to make some birch. Um, for his light floors, because that's what he wants, we need basically all the planks in the world, so we're going to just do that. Make all the planks in the world. And we are in a world of terror. That is... That is a whole lot of evil. I wish... I really wish that these skeletons did more than just... Annoy me at this point. I mean... I know that's hopefully something that's going to come later, is they're going to be able to do structure damage of some sort, or maybe that's something that will be in one of the other difficulty modes, like maybe hard mode, the zombies and the monsters and the skeletons can absolutely take on your, your stuff and, and do damage. And that is, that is I, I for one welcome that. I think, yes, we need to welcome that, we need to be able to be great with that. So one, two, three, four, so we need 12 light floors. There's 12 light floors, awesome. And what we do now is we curse ourselves for not having enough stuffs. That's fine. All right, so we are going to this stone, this tile, and that tile, and we're just going to basically swap them out, which is going to make him happier, as you can see, because as he likes stuff, and as it comes out, his satisfaction goes up.
Let's just take out the rude neighbors. there because they aren't needed and that way we just go over here grab all of the skeleton bones and then put them away sort them out and we can grab all these hearts and then put them away sort them out all right and go back to doing Extreme Makeover Goblin Edition. All right, and we have a space so we can take this chair away. Table down, and then do that. Chair goes back, and actually, we need to get our water from that. Oh, is that is that what's going on? Is that why we have all these cups? Did we find an exploit? I think we did, maybe. No, we didn't. Okay. All right. So the important thing is, though, we got the water out of the water machine because otherwise it was going to be bad. All right. So let's grab our empty cups, put them back, grab our water machine, and ideally we can really just put our water machine somewhere else um, right here that's plenty of space still and put her empty cup actually these empty cups probably need to go downstairs with us to be honest that way when we start harvesting snow we'll have a way to deal with it more willingly and reliably all right and the last thing we need to do Take your bed. I know that's going to make you super angry. Ha! <laughs> Achieve and unlock, give and take. Uh, that's funny. Um, there's your goblin bed. Satisfaction's good. So now he needs a bookcase and a table. So let's go and say bookcase. What do we need for that? Bookcase. We have enough. All right. What's the table need? Uh, well, at least you get a bookcase, buddy. And we can start trading stuff for coins. Ooh. I knew we had an update happen. This guy has absolutely seen line of sight through the walls, so we'll, we'll let him have that. Ooh. Attacking us through the walls. Man. All right. We are... So let's, let's see what what do we have here? What what do we have? We can start buying gold furniture, but we need to get some coins. So we need um, dark wood into tree logs. So we can do that. So let's go over here. Let's reevaluate all of our life choices. All right. Um, also, once again, not grabbing the right thing. All right, so what do we have? We have these that we can put. All right, excellent. Uh, you there. We would like to get some coins. Goblin satisfaction is too low. 
All right. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh. So right here, see how that? We could do that, but if we want the paintbrush, we really have to have them happy. So that means we're gonna have to get some more bookshelves. We're gonna have to get some carpenter tables. Some oh, we have the walls. That's right. We have all these walls we can build. Um, let's build walls. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, and eleven. So let's go shove something over here, real quick. Nope, not in that box. Hey, it's new dawn, which means it's yep. It is time for us to say good night, guys. Wow, these games are going by so fast. Oh, oh man. Well, Turtle Club, this again is mini land adventure. The way that this game works is you, you, you know, you start off with nothing. You survive by crafting stuff, and as you craft stuff, you survive more. Once again, this is a preview review copy. I this totally meets my threshold of gameplay. I mean, the, the art style, again, very minimalistic, the gameplay very minimalistic, but the gameplay loop is just so rewarding, so rewarding. I gotta say, it has been a pleasure to record these episodes so far, and coming up, the game will be releasing. You can right now play the prologue itself, and the prologue is on Steam, it is free. When this releases, you can play the pro prologue, it'll be free forever. Um, in the main game, you have the option for multiple save games, multiple game modes, both creative and survival, multiple difficulty options, everything from no monsters all the way up to hard. We're currently on normal, and it's pretty uh, pretty decent. It's not too challenging, but it's not too um, too disappointing, you know? And, you know, on the prologue, you can only play for seven days, so in the full version, you can play for as long as you want. But... It's going to be on Steam. Uh, Imokowski Dev has created the game. It's a passion project of theirs. You can tell with all the just the little neat stuff that was added into it. Uh, published by Game Park Playway SA and Games Incubator. And yeah, um, totally dollar an hour, way worth it in my opinion. I know I'm going to be getting more than 10 hours out of this game. But yeah, at Turtle Club, I'm going to have myself a good night. You all have yourself a good breakfast good lunch, good dinner, what are you about to do to a club? Stay safe, wash your hands, and have a good one. Take care, and thanks for watching, guys.